Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we'd like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. And you help us do that. So thanks again. Now back to the video. Have you ever felt really anxious when you were on a date with your crush? Do you worry that you'll do something wrong to mess your date up or say something that will push them away? It's normal to feel stressed out sometimes when you're with someone you're attracted to. After all, you're hoping to end up in a relationship with them in the long run. So Psych2Go presents six subtle things that might push your crush away. So you'll know what to avoid next time you're out with that special someone. Number one, overanalyzing everything. Have you ever spent so much time trying to find the meaning of something your crush did only to realize it didn't have that much meaning at all? For example, if they text you less than they usually do, you might jump to a conclusion that they're seeing someone else or that they don't care about you anymore. This habit of overanalyzing everything can become obsessive and lead to a tendency to misinterpret your crush's behavior and to blow things out of proportion, which may ultimately push them away. Number two, not giving enough space. Do you ever argue with your crush because they wanna spend some time alone or with their friends? This might be a telling sign that you need to give them some space, whether it's to watch a football game with their friends or read a good book alone. It's important for any healthy relationship that each person has their own privacy and individual space to do the things that they enjoy. A lack of privacy and space can make your crush feel suffocated in your relationship and may likely lead to more and more distancing between the two of you. Number three, expecting them to read your mind. Have you ever felt disappointed because your crush didn't do exactly what you were expecting of them? Perhaps you spent a lot of time getting to know each other and you feel like they know everything about you. While it may be exciting to have someone who knows you so well, it's important to remember that they can't actually read your mind. So expecting them to know how you're feeling or why you might be upset is unrealistic and may likely lead to conflict and distancing. In the end, the best way to get your message across is by communicating it to them. Number four, trying to change them to fit yourself. Oftentimes you might get caught up in focusing more on your own good than your partner's well-being. But there is a difference between wanting to get the best version of your partner and wanting them to change to benefit yourself. For example, perhaps your crush likes to tell jokes to make other people laugh, but because you don't like how much attention they get for it, you tell them to stop. Telling them to change the way they are, not because it will be better for them, but because it will be better for you, may cause them to push you away because you didn't accept them for who they are in the first place. Number five, expecting and giving too much too soon. Have you ever mentioned something that required a lot of commitment and felt your partner suddenly drifting away? When you rush your relationship and start expecting and giving too much too soon, you run the risk of pushing them away. Long-term decisions require commitment and responsibility, and pressing your partner to make that decision with you when you're only at the early stages of your relationship can make them feel extremely uncomfortable. This anxiety and pressure you put on them may ultimately cause them to distance themselves from you. And number six, obstructing their life goals. This is one of the more serious things that you might do to push your crush away. Have you ever felt like you were dragging your crush down from achieving success on purpose? Obstructing your crush's life goals is one way you can push them away for good. This may mean actively distracting and discouraging them from reaching their goals, making them feel guilty for pursuing their dreams. Have you ever done any of the things we mentioned? If so, how do you plan to change that? If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share it with those who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever we post a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.